Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, just thank you so much for the love and support that you've been giving me. Along is, you know, just seeing things for what they truly are and being able to analyze and knowing what things you need to separate from and you need to draw yourself closer to. So with that being said, much love to all. Now stay love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe even you know hit the notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video and if you're comfortable enough please drop me a line or two I would love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up tell me about your impact the gift and how it impacted your life and hit you towards a positive direction also if you feel like the videos is very informative to you and gives you good vibes that you would you know you love to share with the loved one family or friend or even a fellow empath that are going through some really hard times right now and try to need well actually needs to validation or confirmation towards their journey please go ahead and share and while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit and thank you once again for the love and support it's so greatly appreciated and i hope you're able to you know resonate with the content of my video and this peaceful meditation i am listening to is restore mental clarity and energy powerful deep sleep meditation meditation spiritual awakening music and i will post that link in the description box below and today i am doing uh my video on twin flame 101 hey oka is knowing your spiritual blueprint y'all that's some deep stuff because i was just like you know reading up on stuff like that and that's where i'm at right now knowing my blueprint you're you know your blueprint you've been going through so many situations being able to heal emotionally mentally spiritually overall focusing and knowing where you fit in life what do you believe where you know your goals are what are you you know thriving for where are you heading towards you know you knowing your life purpose and what you know what you're here for doing what you need to do our life has just been thrown upside down you know it's just like a that zynga game they're you're putting pieces together it might fall over or you might get taller you know whatever you're doing but it takes a lot of you know work to pay attention to where you're gonna stick one block to another block you know and that's how our life is we're putting it together you know our life had to fall apart for it to go put back together where it's originally supposed to be you know being able to believe in certain things within yourself around you knowing where you're working towards you know you it's just like you if you're building a house you want to know where you're going to put this certain you know wall where you're going to put this door at you need to know all these blueprints of your life and where do you fit at so it's just a beautiful thing where you can be able to heal and knowing okay i'm learning this about myself yeah it can take you a bit yeah it can be a shocking thing to you because it's just like i look at all the things that you know i've been placed upon you know my mom always used to tell me how special i am rosalyn you don't know how spiritually special you are and i didn't know what she was talking about i thought she was talking about special like okay i know i'm kind of off but you know hey but i didn't realize this is what something i was going to do you know i knew i wanted to help save the world bring love towards the world towards people that truly needed it i didn't know how i was going to do it but I knew I was going to do it. That's I've been wanting to do that since I was a little girl. Anytime I used to see people, I used to feel people's energy and knowing they needed that hug. You know, I see my granddaughter do it all the time. You know, I'm like, oh, you know, grandma, you know, Gigi's feeling, you know, sad. Can you give me some loving energy? And she'll give, she's like, Gigi. And she'll just give me a big hug. And, you know, and that's, I feel my baby's energy. And I, I see a lot of what she does that I used to do when I was a little girl. So it's just like being able to do this. I know what I made up for. I had to go through a traumatic situation for me to be able to open up my life, tell my my story about the things that uh, has occurred and how I'm healing from them. How am I working towards, you know, breaking that cycle, you know, of years of, of abuse, you know, that my family has went through that I'm trying to stop. You know, that you know, we're starting a whole new generation. We're evolving. We're we're you know we're coming up with evolutionary empaths you know we're, we're <laughs> the ubers you know the super troops <laughs> all these things we're doing that we had to go through hell and back hell and back and heal in ways we never thought we were capable of doing because your life will you know it will smack reality into you so quick that you're like you know somebody could slap the mess out of you and you still shocked and you feeling that sting 
Like, did you just really slap me? You know, with this, all this, you got coming at me all at one time. You know, because my life, when I found out the things that I found out about my life, I thought I was going to go start raving mad. You know, I did at one point. I lost my mind. I had to go back and find it. <laughs> I really had to go back and find it. And then it was just like making video diaries. And all of a sudden, I started making these videos. You know, if you're just coming into my, you know, into my community, you don't really know that much about me. You know, I, you know, I started this off for me to find my birth mother, you know, for me to be able to, you know, be able to know and be able to connect with my father's side as well as my mom's side and all these different things. And then my journey has took a, a big left and a big right and a big up and down uh, crossways. And then now I'm sitting up here finding out all these, these deep, meaningful things in my life that I'm able to create with other people I'm really able to connect and being able to send messages off to people being able to recognize what I am as well as other people are helping them try to find their way or you know adding a piece of knowledge towards their way being able to connect with people on a deeper level than I ever thought I was you know I would you be an empath you hate having shallow conversations you know, how's the weather? Eh, I don't want to care. I don't want to talk about no weather. You know, tell me about some real stuff that's going on. What, you know, how are we going to fix this craziness that's going on in the world? You know, and we're able to do that. We're, we're finding out where we fit in the world and how we're going to contribute to bringing positivity in the world because we really need that. You know, if you're out here, you're pushing out positivity, you're making, you know, positive posts. You know, I try to do that all the time. You know, having positive messages go out, putting positive thumbnails out as well as having you know, vibrational music in the background to give you that energy coming towards your way. You know, that's a beautiful thing. Because when you know you're pushing out towards po positivity, you get blessings from different directions you didn't even expect them to come from. But it's not, you know, you're not doing these things to have something come back to you. You just want to be able to play your part into the world of this crazy army that, you know, their you know, universe is trying to get conjured up. So it's just like knowing your blueprint about your life you know, healing in ways you never thought you were capable of doing, knowing yourself for who you truly are, knowing your true you. You know, nobody knows you better than you do, except universe. And you know, and it's just like it's amazing how you can just sit back and probably look at yourself from three, four years ago. You never thought of yourself as what you are right now. You're finding out all these new things about yourself, knowing I'm not alone on this thing. I'm not crazy, you know, and it's just so many things. I love to be able to help other people. You know, y'all come towards me and it's like I help out where I can help out. You know, some some people, you know, I don't get some people I do, you know, some people I can help some people, you know, I can help. But, you know, they have to do their part as well. Some of them, you know, I can give a message and we part ways, you know. So there's all these beautiful things that's going on. Everybody, we're connecting with, we're learning one thing or another off of it. You know, strengthening ourselves in, in so many different ways. Evolving in so many different ways. Going to different levels. You know, getting blessings from different ways when you're contributing towards the world. You know, I love what I do because what I do is not because I'm doing it to get something in return. It's just the fact is, you know, it's a scary thought. You know, I, like I told y'all, if you've been with me for a while, you've heard me say this before. When I first started my spiritual awakening, I had nobody to go to. You know, I heard my dad in my ear tell me, hey, baby, look at this. Or I'll hear, you know, a certain word come out and I'll just write it down. I'm like, what's that? And then you go look for it because they knew I was curious. I look up everything that comes to me just to make sure I understand what you're bringing towards me. So being able to do what I do, I love that because going through a spiritual awakening can be scary. It is new to you, especially if you haven't went through something like this to shake your life up and trying to figure out why I am the way I am. Why do I act the way I act? Why do I have certain evil people gravitating towards me when I didn't ask for this? Why I can't sit somewhere and somebody comes over here and tell me the whole life story? You know, why does this happen to me? And you're trying to understand all these things that are coming in your life. And it's a beautiful thing when I can add towards that to let you know you're not alone. Even though you might feel like you're alone because all the things you're going through at that time, but you had to go through it to get to two where you are originally supposed to be. You, if you never went through this situation, you would have still been walking around clueless, trying to figure out what's your purpose in life. You know, it takes for us to go through some really drastic, traumatic things for us to wake up and know our worth. Love ourselves where we're supposed to. 
allow ourselves to have that self-respect to walk away from things that are no longer serving us. You know, doing all those things, you're learning your blueprint of your life. So being able to do that, you're elevating in ways that, you know, you probably never imagined. You know, you're seeing signs towards things to know, you know what, I've been going through hell for so long. I'm finally seeing the light at the end of the tunnel, which you truly deserve. You've been deserving that. But, you know, we have been holding ourselves back for so long. We needed to go through this crazy roller coaster for us to get to where we had to go in the first place. So learning your blueprint and being able to educate yourself in all these different ways, knowing we're all connected some kind of way. It's a beautiful thing when I can put videos out and people are like, Rosalind, are you in my house? Are you in my head? No, it's just these are the things that are coming towards me or these are the things that I'm going through or I get visions of that I see a lot of empaths going through or I could be dealing with it myself and other people are connecting with me in that way. We might not have the same situation, but you can feel where I'm coming from where I can understand where you're, you're trying to head to. So I can add pieces of my energy to give off to you and help guide you towards that or giving you a piece of that puzzle that you need to go along your journey. So all these beautiful things that I'm able to do, I love what I do. I love to be able to educate myself as well as, you know, send my lessons off to somebody. It can help them in a certain kind of way, cheer them on because they're not used to getting that kind of love in their life. Let them know, hey, you are strong. Hey, you are capable. Hey, you are going to make it out of this situation. Just give yourself time. Get patience. You know, see the signs are around you. Look at the things you're synchronizing to let you know you are already heading towards that that road, that fork in the road to head towards the light at the end of the tunnel. You have to go through all these things to get to it. So it's just like know your spiritual blueprint. Know where you stand in life. Heal in ways that, where you really need to heal. Let go of the things that you can't change. And head towards the things that you can. So I hope you are able to, you know, re uh, I said recognize, resonate. Taurus, I hope you're able to resonate with this message. Drop me a line. Give me your input on it. Like and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up and share. You know, if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. Send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And knowing I and plus other people are, you know, praying for your better days. And my post notification shout out goes to Crystal Ash Brooks. Uh, Hawkeye Cheney, True Blue, and G Nico. Um, Y'all wasn't able to do a post notification shout out uh, on my last video because it's like I noticed when I do like 14 minute, 13 minute videos, it, it, it just like it takes almost like two days just for the video to upload. So sometimes I'm trying to cut it short so I can be able to get these out to y'all all in one day. But you know, much love. See you on my next video. Peace. Be wild.